What can one billion dollars buy you around the world? Without a doubt, a billion dollars is a lot of money. If you think it's not a lot of money, try imagining what a stack of bills that equal one billion dollars would look like. You can probably remember when Facebook bought Instagram for one billion dollars. You were in disbelief, weren't you? Well, we were too. It feels like a long time now though. The sale of social networks for 10 figures has now become the status quo, and it won't be long before we get another record-breaking fee for smaller social media sites. What if you had a billion dollars right now? We don't know how that's possible, but just think about it. Would you be looking to buy up a social network? Maybe not, but there are a lot of other things you could afford with one billion dollars. Before we get into the details of that, however, let us take time to imagine what a stack of bills that equals $1 billion would look like. If we can wait for about 30 years of stacking, a pile of $1 bills would measure 358,510 feet or 67.9 miles high for you to stack up $1 billion. If you laid the $1 bills on end to end, the trail would measure 96,900 miles. Now that's not all. One billion one dollar bills would weigh around 10 tons, but if you're unlucky to have it in quarters, it would weigh 22,680 tons. Of course, your chances of winning a billion dollars are slim, say one in 302.6 million, but it is still fun to daydream, isn't it? So besides a social network with a few million users and a lot of bragging rights, what could one billion dollars get you? Insanely fast cars. Have you ever wondered why people spend an awful lot of money on cars? Well, if you had $1 billion right now, we don't think you would worry much about the cost. With that kind of money, you could buy 178 Lamborghini Veneno Roadsters, which cost $5.6 million each. Well, that would be a bit difficult now if you considered that there are only nine of these limited edition hypercars. Don't feel bad yet because you could buy all nine editions and still have plenty to buy even more ludicrously expensive cars. You could add all 40 editions of the Bugatti Devo hypercar to your collection of super fast cars. Even with all of that, you'd still have some million dollars left for gas and speeding tickets. Private Jets Currently, Prince Awalid bin Talal of Saudi Arabia owns the world's most expensive private airplane, a converted Airbus A380 super jumbo jet kitted out to his specifications. The plane serves as the parking space for his numerous luxury cars, a stable for his horses, and a room for his hawks. Many more incredible extras sit alongside all the bedrooms, bathrooms, dining, and entertainment areas you'd expect in this ultra high-spec double-decker jumbo. Costing around $500 million, you would be able to afford two of it. Send 3,000 students to Harvard University. Maybe you're not very extravagant, and you would want to use a billion dollars for philanthropic purposes. You can consider sending 3,000 students to Harvard University. One of the most prestigious colleges in the U.S. pegs its total cost for attending in the 2018 to 2019 school year at $67,580 which includes tuition, room, board, and fees. If you're sponsoring for a four-year degree, the total climbs to $270,320. With $1 billion, you could finance the education of 3,000 Harvard University students for $810,960,000. You'd still have well over $100 million left. Necker Island and 10 others just like it. Have you ever imagined that you own Necker Island or an island just like it? Well, you could if you had $1 billion. Richard Branson famously purchased 74-acre Necker Island in the Caribbean for just $180,000, a fraction of its $5 million asking price. In 2006, he estimated the island's value at about $60 million, according to Business Insider. Although the island was devastated by Hurricane Irma in 2017, it has been rebuilt. Although the island is probably worth more than it was 14 years ago at that $60 million price, you could still conveniently buy Necker Island and 10 others just like it. A National Football League team. Are you a sports fan? Do you wish to own an NFL team? Dreams do come true, you know. The NFL's 32 teams are worth, on average, $1.17 billion each. So if you stumble upon a billion dollars this minute, you would become a proud NFL team owner. Again, this is only possible if you have $1 billion sitting somewhere. Buckingham Palace. It's about to get real now, isn't it? Ever wish that you were born into the royal family of England just so you could live in the palace? With $1 billion, your wish is about to become reality. Of course, that's if it was on the market for sale. 
If for some unthinkable reason Queen Elizabeth were to put the Buckingham Palace on the market, its costs would be an estimated $1.4 billion. On the other hand, if owning the palace has never been your dream and you just prefer a castle, your $1 billion would get you Balmoral castles and seven others like it. That's because you will be spending around $140 million each. The White House Assuming you don't fancy going to Europe, and you're thinking domestic, you could just buy the White House and still have enough left of your $1 billion. Zillow, the real estate listings web company, estimates the White House to be worth around $398 million. Of course, there's already a tenant in there, but your $1 billion might just be enough to pay off any opposition, right? A super yacht. There are not so many people who own super yachts, but you could be one of the few. That's if you have a billion dollars lying somewhere. In February 2015, a super yacht named Triple Deuce was announced. Its price was expected to come in at around $1 billion, making it the most expensive privately owned super yacht ever built. Standing tall at 222 meters long, it's nearly 10 times bigger than the smallest super yacht. Its master suite alone encompasses two of its seven decks and includes a private gym. It also comes with two pools, numerous jacuzzis, and of course, a helipad. The estimated annual running cost of the Triple Deuce is between 20 and 30 million dollars. Considering that its value might have increased in the past five years, a billion dollars might not be enough to purchase this super yacht. But you can own major parts of it if you don't mind sharing. 500 Tibetan Mastiff Puppies If you're a dog lover, you must have heard of the Tibetan Mastiff. A lot of people wish that they owned one of these. You could own 500 if you stumbled upon a billion dollars right now. A Tibetan Mastiff puppy reportedly sold for almost $2 million in China a couple of years ago, making it likely the priciest dog ever purchased. With $1 billion, you could have 500 of the 160-pound dogs that resemble a lion. The question we would ask you if you're thinking about this is, what would you be doing with 500 Tibetan Mastiffs? A skyscraper. Have you seen those skyscrapers on TV? You could even get something more than those with $1 billion. That is if you wouldn't mind going to South Asia. Named after a mythical island in the Atlantic Ocean, Antilia is a private home in South Mumbai, India. Although Antilia is the height of a 60-floor skyscraper, it only has 27 floors because of its owner Mukesh Ambani wanted extra high ceilings. Built in 2010, Antilia has 10 lifts and although it is a private residence, currently employs a staff of 600. The building itself costs a whole 1 billion US dollars, meaning that you can afford it, right? Maybe not. Since the building was completed, its estimated value has risen, and it is reported that Antilia could be worth as much as $3 billion right now. Well, maybe there's a chance of convincing Mukesh to sell one-third of the building to you. You wouldn't mind being the co-owner of one of the most expensive buildings in the world, would you? Two of the most expensive houses in America. According to the Wall Street Journal, the two most expensive houses in America are both in the Los Angeles neighborhood of Bel Air. In 2019, one was listed for $188 million and the other for $180 million. With $1 billion, you can buy them both and still have over $500 million to spare. The more expensive of the two is a 38,000 square foot estate that has 12 bedrooms, elevators lined with crocodile skin, and an infinity pool. Space tickets for over 3,500 friends. Ever gone on a road trip with your friends? How about going on a space trip with them? 3,500 of them. $1 billion will provide several options. Jeff Bezos's Blue Origin reportedly plans to start selling $200,000 to $300,000 tickets in 2019 to send tourists on an 11-minute suborbital space flight. And Richard Branson's Virgin Galactic has tickets to space for about $250,000 each with its first trip more than tantalizingly close, according to Branson. Although SpaceX recently announced Japanese billionaire Yasuga Mizewa will be its first customer for a private space flight around the moon, the cost has not been revealed. With a billion dollars, you could buy $4,200,000 Blue Origin tickets, $3,300,000 tickets, or 4,000 Virgin Galactic tickets. If you don't have so many friends, there's a more expensive option with the Space Adventures, a sort of space travel agency that matches people with the resources to go to space with Russian space program rockets that have available seats. The journey to space as a tourist for 12 days in 2008 cost the founder of the company $30 million. It is unlikely that it costs the same now, but if it does, you should be able to afford going on the trip with about 30 of your friends. Final thoughts. Do you have a billion dollars somewhere? We didn't think so. 
we don't have it either, so you aren't the only one. However, it was nice to daydream, wasn't it? We have just run through the most luxurious properties and investments you can make with $1 billion. While it would be insane to purchase some of the items discussed in the video, wouldn't it? Talk about buying 500 Tibetan Mastiffs or the Buckingham Palace. Even as much as we tried to spend $1 billion, we still had some hundreds of millions left. Talk about a good problem to have, especially when you have an NBA team, 10 islands, a private jet, and a fleet of super fast cars to your name. All in all, you don't have to be rolling in cash to dream a little. And who knows, maybe in a couple of months or years, you may actually need the help of this video to pick and spend your $1 billion. Which item on the list shocked you the most? Do you think it's actually possible to spend money on some of the things mentioned in this video? What would you do with $1 billion? Would you snatch up a social network of your own or opt for a life spent enjoying the finer things? Whether you're dreaming of island ownership or imagining a life as a billionaire philanthropist, one thing is clear. $1 billion is a lot of money. And if there is no real plan to spend it, it might just become wasted. Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. Thank you for sticking around and watching this video.